Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more uh, Persona 3 Reload and we're at the new moon. We've just been locked in here by uh, Strega. Um, we finally got a couple of names, so we've got Jin and we've got Takaya. So, we've got two of their three names. Um, this is the party that we're going to go in with. We're going to give it a shot, see how it goes. I don't know what elements this boss uses, so... We'll see if this is a good team. You got it, girl. Ooh, it's so dark. It seems this facility was in use during your time. Okay, do I need to check each of these corners? <laughs> I don't want to leave behind any loot. This place. It seems it was some kind of armory during the war. These tread marks. They're new. I wonder. These could belong to the target. Stay alert, everyone. Weird that that one's not voiced. Thing on desk. Something's on the desk. Two revival beads. Very nice. What are all these documents? In the hopes that this message will reach my loved ones, I have sealed this journal for its protection. We few survivors have ensured the completion of our goal. So many of our cohorts will never know our success. I pray that their spirits find rest in the wake of this turmoil. To my mother, my wife, and my children, please do not think that I have abandoned you. If securing your futures means giving my life, then I will have done so happily. Honor my memory by living. Okay, Twilight Fragment, very cool. I didn't think there'd be other Persona users aside from us. Lucia couldn't sense them at all. Sorry, I'll concentrate on the shadow. The target's gaining speed. It's continuing down the tunnel. Hurry and chase it down. I mean, I'm going. I'm just going to loot stopped. first. It turned around. It's waiting for us one block down. Please be careful. <laughs> That's kind of ominous. Are you ready? This is the source of the tread marks. It looks like the shadow is using the Tanga's armor. Get ready, everyone. Here it comes. I'm trying to remember what he's weak to. I want to say Zeo, but maybe that's just because it's a giant it's thing made of metal. <laughs> Okay. What to do? So let's see. We've got Garu and Zio. So maybe I'll try Agi. Okay, resist that. Lots of resistances so far. Whoa! <laughs> okay, one shot. Jesus! Alright. Defense up. <laughs> we'll open with the defense up. How about that? I find it offensive that lower difficulty is the top of that damn menu. That is offensive, Atlas. I only I'll go with. Okay. So, Tarunda or... 
Okay, defense up. Aki can Tarunda, so we have that. Okay, you resisted Pierce. Good job. We learned nothing. Thank you. Um, we already know about Pierce. High crit chance. Thank goodness. Now it's time for a counter attack. Oh, cool. I wonder if I should guard and wait. Something's gonna happen that's gonna open up next. Other opportunities, I feel like. Yeah. Other than just keeping us alive. Okay, targeting Yukari. What to do? Ice break. Now, do the follow-up turns also have Pierce? Where it ignores resistances? I guess we'll have to keep an eye on that. Let's find out. Here we go. This is what we were hoping for. Okay, so most likely that Pierce is useless then. Alright, physical on you, magic on you. Um, are you still being targeted? I don't actually know. I'm assuming that that moved on, but I could be wrong. I'll take care of this. Who's gonna win this? Go, Polygoosis! Damage inflicted! Oh no. Do you have to hit me? He has insta kills? Okay, we need to be real careful. Um, who do you have equipped right now? King Frost. Okay. So if it's so we can't use Garulu, we shouldn't be using Baphomet, shouldn't be using Legion. Okay. Fair enough. Um, let's see. You're probably my highest attack right now. Do we have anybody? You block, but you're low level. We don't want to use you. Sarasvati blocks it. But now let's let's focus on. Um, ooh yeah, Floros would actually be really good here. Okay, so we have a boost on our Pierce damage. That's good. We'll run out of luck eventually, but <laughs> as long as it's not on MC. I might want to save Cadenza. 
come. That is good stuff. Hell, that might finish it. Oh, low accuracy, man. Hot damn. What? It revived it? It looks like both enemies can revive one another. That sucks. You're going to have to defeat them at the same time. You suck. And I hate you. Ooh, I should have known better. <laughs> I think that's actually the same as what it used to be anyway. Okay. So with that being the case, maybe we'll go... With Sarasvati, who can't be killed by insta kills. Okay, we need a raccoon on you. Defense down. One step at a time. Okay, this is when you're at your most dangerous. Tank's armor. It seems to be much harder than any shadow so far. If only we could sever their link with a stronger attack. With a stronger attack, is that referring to a theurgy, maybe? Should have done Rakunda. We have Sekunda on Yukari. That's okay though. I have to do this. I'll take care of this. The best bet would be. Let's go! Let's make sure we survive. Okay, let's see if this will break them apart. Okay, it does work. All right, let's save Aki's until they join back together again. They've separated again, but our damage is split equally between them. Okay, that's actually fine. All right, we'll save the theurgy then. Okay, the crit chance is garbage, dude. Dead. Huh? Later. Say something, Man, that crit chance. Unfucking believable. Okay. play super well there so and I was on him which made me my weakness uh, light magic which we don't want so let's see do I have anybody else with Rakunda 
you. Alright, so we might want to use Mithros then. Okay, um, let's see. So we want to start... Who has this? King Frost. Do I have to get to it like a certain damage before he'll separate? Because we got him to separate before he got that target off of Yukari, so... I guess what I'm doing isn't gonna help. Um... Okay. Or did I do it with this earlier? I can't, did they separate right after I did Orgia mode the first time? I don't think so, but maybe I did. Okay. I see now. The turret is just it. Now's the time. I won't lose. It's going to win this. Why is it always the person who has recarm? Always. She's so susceptible to death for some reason. <laughs> okay, so the follow-ups um, do not pierce. They do not ignore resistances. Yukari being dizzy, she actually probably won't be able to heal herself. One step at a time. Luckily, you have Diorama. Come on, you gotta get up, girl. Even be uh, knocked down. Okay, 
Yeah, party buffs are probably the best way to go with this fight, just because every time they join and unjoin. I'll take care of this. I really should get a defense up again. Go, Polygusen! Very good hit. Okay, no crit that time at least. Heal. Thank you very much. Best bet yeah, we're we're due up for a meteorama. Damage. I have to do this. Appreciate it. Let's get away this. I've got you. Okay. Our theurgies are keeping up with being able to ununite them, so. somebody with a Meggy skill. Yeah, but you're weak to light, so we're not going to use you. Come. Summoning. After this fight, we gotta remember to take that off of Yukari. <laughs> Putting her in that costume's a little disrespectful. <laughs> Let's make sure we have Sara's body on. We do. Yep. I think we need the defense buff on the next turn. Hold the trigger. Um, how's our health? Ah, yeah, I need to heal. <laughs> Got gotta be safe. Thanks. I appreciate it. Aki in particular was looking pretty bad. One step at a time. Go, Polygusis! If we can get him a little bit closer, Aki's theurgy might be able to finish them. Okay, good dodge. What to do? 
King Watch it hama me to death just because I changed personas. What is optimal? That would be my luck. Um, you don't have a lot of options at the moment. Huh. If we kill the other guy, he's just gonna get raised again and have more health than he did before, so... We need to get these guys closer together. Dude's tanky. Okay, we're almost there, though. I kind of want to finish I with Aki's. Like oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. I guess. This will separate them, and then hopefully Aki can finish both of them at the same time. Okay, so do I even risk hitting these guys normal? Hers is a single target. I think this will get it done. Boom. Killed at the same time. They can't heal each other. 23,000 experience. Chariot Tarot, Justice Tarot. Okay, so let's talk about the negative aspects of the Chariot Tarot. So whenever you do a card reading and it comes up reversed, uh, some of the keywords or some of the meanings that can be behind that is a lack of direction, scattered energy, and self-doubt. And then when it comes to the Justice Tarot, the reverse card can mean dishonesty, imbalance, lack of accountability, legal flaws, or unfair treatment. Level 36. This persona cannot learn any more skills. Okay. Zayanga, huh? Um, do we have a place for this? We'll replace Sharp Student. Yes, I'm here. This is Mitsuru. We've neutralized the target. Ah, good work. Come on back. Actually, there's been a complication. We ran into some interference during the mission. It seems they were Persona users. Persona users? Yes, more than one. They appeared during the dark hour and seemed to know who we were. Hmm. Did they say anything that might give us a hint to who they are? Now that you mention it... I believe they called themselves Strega. Strega? Hmm. All right. I'll see what I can find out. Thank you. There's one other thing I have to report. <laughs> We're locked in a bunker. We unfortunately fell into Strega's trap, so we're locked inside the facility. Ah, I see. Honestly, it's a really good thing that she's able to even communicate with him right now. Can you imagine if we couldn't even reach out to him and we're just locked in that bunker for the rest of time? Since the threat has been eliminated, I'll send someone over as soon as I can. I guess he knew the general area we were going, for the so... Trouble. We'll be waiting. He would have eventually found us. But still. <laughs> Other Persona users. <sighs> okay. An unexpected enemy has emerged. They call themselves Strega. They seem to be Persona users. But we still succeeded in defeating the Shadow this month. There should be fewer victims for a while. I'm exhausted. I can't wait to get some rest.
I've got a text message. Okay, Keisuke. Uh, Fortune is not one of the ones on my list. We have Emperor. Um, yeah, we have Emperor, and right now we have Hanged. I think we got Chariot fixed, so I think that one's fine. But sorry, Keisuke, I don't think we're going to hang out with you, bro. Come to think of it, the crops I planted on the rooftop should be ready to harvest by now. Okay, and I'm guessing that I can do that during the day today? Let's see, it is a Friday, not a Saturday, so there's no shopping network. Looks like there's a lot of people in the second floor hallway. Hello there. There are four shadows remaining. Let us do our best next time, too. However, the members of Strega also appear to be our enemies. Let us remain vigilant and continue taking shadows down. If the Dark Hour disappears, then our personas will disappear too. That's basically what those Strega guys were saying, right? Mm. You know, from what we know of all of the Persona games, it probably isn't even true. <laughs> I wonder. Everyone seems so exhausted. We don't have the whole group here anyway, so let's skip going to Tartarus tonight. <sighs> I guess there needs to be some kind of tie to like the Shadow World in order for Personas to be summonable. So I guess if you got rid of Tartarus, the, the tie that made them closer together, the realities, then I suppose you probably don't get access to your Persona. Hmm. All right. Dude, our missions are always so exhausting, but last night was even worse because we ran into those Strega guys. And they look like a pretty annoying bunch. Man, I wish they'd just piss off. You know, for the last couple of days, I have not seen Ken. Okay, he's not in his room. Maybe he's downstairs. There he is. Where have you been the last couple of days? So, um... I saw something on TV about people with apathy syndrome. Apparently, everyone was cured all at the same time. That's a little strange, isn't it? I mean, there's no way everyone can recover at the exact same time. Mm. So, how? If you want to go ask questions, kid. Alright. Alright, so is this gonna be the new guy? Sure is. Okay, that might be what we're doing today. At Hagakuri, try ordering cold ramen by saying Cobra Men to the waiter. If he understands what you said, I heard you won't get heat stroke. Where are your parents, kids? What kind of cat do you think this is? A stray. I don't, where is the cat? I don't see a cat. Oh, you could tell, huh? It's a stray cat, but he's my friend. The first time... Oh, he's on the corner. Bottom right corner. You can barely see him. First time I met him, he didn't even run away. He came up to my hands. So that means he's my soulmate, right? Um, sure? The cat looks carefree. Yo. Hey, vernacular. You remembered me, huh? I'm gonna grab a bite to eat. Wanna join me? Sure thing. Yeah. Well, let's see if you can eat faster. The loser has to run a hundred laps around the city. You ready? Hayase is full of confidence. Okay. I can feel the courage welling up within me to face him. I can take him on. Okay, so we that was a courage check. And apparently hmm? we had enough. Hey, eat up. Slowing down. Is that all you've got? It's not over yet, my friend. Oh, saving your strength for the last stretch, huh? <laughs> then let's do this. With this guy, everything's go, a competition. Go, go, go. <laughs> Friendly rivalry. Hayase and I finish eating at the same time. Whew. Oh, looks like it's a tie. <laughs> not many people can keep up with me. I'm impressed. 
I thought I could win. Damn. I tried. That's so. Yes, it was close then. Oh. Had a lot of gods challenging me at Takoyaki, though. I respect that. I knew you had potential when I met you. Hayase has a fearless smile on his face. The star runner from another school has taken a shine to me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the star archive. All right, new social link. Rank one in the star. Rival athlete, Mamoru Hayase. All right, so what is the meaning of the star? Um, let's see, it looks like it's card 17. Yeah, card 17. When the star card appears, you are likely to find yourself feeling inspired. It brings renewed hope and faith and a sense that you are truly blessed by the universe at this time. I see it. Ties no better than a loss. I'll do like I promise and run a hundred laps around the city. You do whatever you think is best. Heck of a fight today. See you around. Yes, he just said a hundred laps. I decided to go back to the dorm instead of doing a hundred laps like that madman. Okay, not a lot of people hanging out here tonight. Now let's see, isn't it like later this month before we can do anything with the fridge? <laughs> 20 more days, okay. Okay. Let's check on the machine here. No new recordings. Okay. Oonts, 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 oonsa, oonsa, oonsa. What do you want? You're killing my buzz here. The monk seems to be drinking by himself. I feel like I might grow closer to the monk soon. Spend time with the monk. Uh? Oh, wait, you're... Hey, I remember you. I thought I told you not to come back here. Huh. Damn kids. I almost listened, but then I got Eligor, and um, now I feel like we're going to get along a little bit better. Well, I don't care. As long as you don't get on my nerves. Have a seat. What you doing here today, kid? Came to see you, old man. Quit joking around, kid. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, I think the other one would have gotten us some points. Kid. I am your elder, after all. If you were my son, I'd give you a swift kick in the ass. You don't have to revere me, but at least show some proper respect. Okay, how should I address you then? I don't even know your name. Mutatsu. That's my Buddhist name. Not my real one, of course. I don't think I really knew that um, Buddhist monks took on new names. And that's Mutatsu's son to you. <laughs> the world's of not a forgiving place, kid. You gotta show other people respect. I was lectured by Mutatsu. I can sense the kindness behind his harsh words. I feel like I understand Mutatsu a little better now. All right, we didn't get a lot of affinity points, so... <laughs> Hopefully those one or two points that we got are fine. <laughs> I think you get one automatically when you start the rank, and then we got one during the rank, so I think we got two affinity points. All right, rank two in tower. Well... I don't really care what happens to somebody else's kid, but 
Go home already, will you? And this time, don't come back again. I said goodbye to Mutatsu and went back to the dorm. Is this gonna be Pharos? Checking in? Hi, how are you doing? Sure is. I remembered a little more. Rank up in death, maybe? The end won't be brought about by any one person in particular. It's going to happen because there are many who wish for it. Almost as if it was decided from the beginning. Fatalistic, huh? Isn't it strange that there are those who would wish to bring about the end? I mean, not really. The world can be cruel. Hmm, I see. Well, I guess if you're unhappy, you'd want it to be over quickly, huh? Otherwise, you might end up consumed by hatred for everything in this world. Well, enough of that for now. You know, the funny thing is, is that the truth of the matter is, is that it doesn't really have to do with hatred. For some people it might be, but I think like most people, it's, uh, it comes down to the apathy. Like, the real world can be cruel sometimes, and as people get older, like, we get a little bit more cynical. Like, we see what the world is actually like, what, it, <laughs> what people are actually like, and we're just like, there's a little bit of apathy to it where you're just like, well, you know what? Humanity as a whole, we kind of suck a lot of the time, so maybe it's not such a bad thing if, uh, if we all just went away. <laughs> there was one more thing I wanted to tell you today. Little bit of apathy, little bit of cynicism, and just like the death of naivete, I think. <laughs> Soon, the flowers of poison will bloom, three in the rival garden and one in your own. I don't know if this has anything to do with the end, but you should be careful. I don't know if I fully understand what you're getting at, Pharos, but I will. I'll try to be careful. I just wanted you to know. I'm worried about you. I appreciate that, you strange you little kid. I'll let know if I find out anything else. That's what friends are for, right? Pharos gives me a carefree smile. I sense a bond between Pharos and me. Rank 5 in death. Well then, good night. This is Elizabeth speaking. Always good to hear your voice, girl. What's up? I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. Already, I huh? That was quick. To inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. Elizabeth said that a previously blocked path is now open. I should check it out next time I go to Tartarus. It's me. I'm sorry to disturb you, but do you have a moment? Yeah, coming. Good morning. There's actually something I need to tell everyone, but I think it would be best if you saw it for yourself. So I'd like for all of us to meet in the command room tonight. I'll see you then. Okay, Maiko and Nozomi today. Reflasia, new products in stock, okay. We have soul spinach sprouts in stock. Yeah, let's go do that. Welcome. Take your time. Soul spinach. Anything that has the word soul in it is probably gonna be an SP item. Okay, next time we plant something, it's going to be those. Alright, let's also really quickly go and talk to Elizabeth. See about requests. Yep, my instincts were right. 
All right, so it seems like whenever the next block opens up when she calls you, I think that's when she updates her request list. I can sense that the power growing within you stems from the bonds you have forged. Here, it may not be much, but this is my gift to you. Three I'm more Twilight Fragments. Here are my requests. Okay, proof of a bond. Bring an item you can only receive when a social link has been maxed out. We're good Most on that excellent. one. Now, let's hear your report. It seems you've already completed this request. So this is proof of one of your bonds. Though it's made out of ordinary material, I can sense some sort of warmth from it. Marvelous. You have nurtured a beautiful bond, a precious, irreplaceable bond. Please take this as your reward. A space badge. Sounds fancy. Create a persona that's level 38 or above. Okay, we're Excellent. good there. Now, let's hear your report. We got a marionette key. So is that for fusing some something? Yeah, Nebiros. You can now fuse Nebiros, the necromancer from hell. Okay. I wish to become a straw millionaire. Bring what you get after bartering items. I hear there's a method to acquire wealth do you see anything By achievable? simply bartering one item for another continuously? Would you please try it out? Bartering one item for another continuously. I mean, that kind of sounds like the... The prize machine. Huh. Bring what you get after bartering items. You must know. Have you ever heard the story about the straw millionaire? It, it is the story of a man who becomes wealthy after continuously bartering one item for another. I would like to see if such a feat is possible in reality. I feel quite motivated. Thus, I have prepared this bandage wrap for you. Please use this bandage wrap as your first bargaining chip and trade it for something satisfactory. <laughs> Do we have a trading side quest in this game? Like... Zelda? <laughs> okay. By all means. All right, we'll see about that then. Got to do that by the 31st. We'll do it as quickly as we can. All right, I'd like to try Ojiru. True Eohige, e Eohige Ojiru. I'm sure that I pronounced that perfectly. Word has it that the ultimate drink in your world is something called Ojiru. However, the taste is described as super gross. How intriguing indeed. After all, if I am to drink something, I would like for it to taste good. Therein lies my request. Would you please look for a delicious Ojiro for me? I will await a report of success. Okay. So maybe that'll be at the pharmacy then? Um, look for the drink with my name that shares the name with Elizabeth, huh? According to rumors, the beverage bearing the same name as me is only available in an unpopular location. Please search for it and bring it to me. A shame. I've come across a rumor I cannot dismiss. Apparently my name is being used somewhere without my knowledge or consent. According to the rumor, this beverage is only available in an unpopular spot. Please conduct a thorough investigation of this beverage as it concerns my reputation. By all means. Attempt a hundred shrine visits? That's not real, right? Not actually a hundred. Bring what you receive from praying at the shrine. You must know. You're gonna make me waste time at the shrine? Ugh. Are you aware of a ritual called the Hundred Shrine Visits that supposedly grants wishes? I would love to witness the miracle of the gods myself, however, I cannot abandon my duties here. So would you please visit the shrine on my behalf? As for my wish, 500 yen bills are extremely rare in your world, yes? Then I'd like to wish for one. I will await a report of success. Okay. A home-cooked meal. Okay, so that's one of the events at night with one of our party members. Bring a food or drink you made together with someone at the dorm. Oh, yes! Allegedly something called a home-cooked meal, which possesses a special kind of flavor, exists in your world. I'm curious what it tastes like, very much so. Could you bring me something with the flavor of this home-cooked meal? It can be either food or beverage. I've no preference. Well, then I'll be looking forward I to it. I will await a report of success. Otenta Mitsuyo. Okay, we'll just find By that in the means. dungeon. Perform King and I. Carry out the King and I fusion spell. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Oberon and... Um, um, what's the female fairy called? 
that's the opposite of Oberon in Shakespeare's play? I can see her. I can literally see her, but I can't think of her name right now. I'm wondering if if you get the two of them, because we've gotten Oberon already, but I don't think we've gotten the other one. And I'm wondering if you get both of them, if you get the, if you get that fusion spell. Um, another king one that I can think of. I mean, there's a lot of persona that are tied to like kings, so that one's a tough one. But there's King Frost, so maybe King Frost and something else creates a fusion spell. Not really sure. Of course. This request is meant to draw out more of your power, the power of the wild card. In order to achieve that, you will need to perform a special fusion. Okay, it does involve King Frost. One involving the king of all Jack Frosts, King Frost and his darling subordinates. Okay, so I mean, we've had King Frost. We've had... Um, Pyro. Pyro Jack and Jack Frost. Is there another one we need to get? And the thing is, is do we need to have them in the party at the same time for the fusion to unlock? Or do we just need them in the compendium? I actually don't know exactly how this system works. It is a rather daunting challenge, but I await your report of success. I will await a report of success. You'll need King Frost and the biggest, baddest boy of all Jack Frost. Okay, so it's going to be, um, what is the, what is the Jack Frost that's the black one? So it's going to be King Frost and probably him. Black Frost, I think is his, yeah, he's just called Black Frost, right? Yeah, maybe. Okay. By all means. Fifth old document. Okay. Very well, then. Lots of new requests. Good day. Are you accepting a request? Did I miss one? Why do you still have an excl exclamation? You don't have another date. Oh. We do have cooking. Okay. I've been waiting for you. It appears you have what I believe to be a home cooked meal. Oh, I think that might have been the tea with Mitsuru. Yep, the Lux Night Tea. Oh my! So this is what home cooking tastes like. An elegant, rich flavor, one with a luxurious mouthfeel. I believe I now understand why people crave the taste of home you cooking. You have my thanks. Thank you very much for sharing this culinary delight. Please take this as your reward. Ooh, okay. Legendary Cleaver. Very well. Then. Good day. Ask Elizabeth Shame. out. She turned down my invitation. Oh, it hurts. Here are my requests. Gotcha. So that was a prereq. I'd like to see a mysterious potato. Um, we've got one of those actually. Come to think of it. By the way, I heard a rumor that a potato that raised with pains, potato that is raised with painstaking love and care will develop a mysterious power. I believe you can obtain the proper seeds to grow such potatoes from a shop that deals in plants. Would you please grow and nurture a potato to verify the authenticity of these claims? I will await a report. I will. And here it is. Oh, yes. I sense an unusual power emanating from you. Do you perhaps have one of the potatoes you have grown? Tarakaja potato. What a truly bizarre potato. I can sense an unusual power radi radiating from it. <laughs> I imagine it would make a rather appealing meal. Elizabeth, please don't. <laughs> hmm? Why are you giving me such a strange look? How splendid. In any case, the request is now completed. Please take this as your reward. We'll forgive her. We'll we'll forgive her this one, okay? Ergo tight shard, okay? Here are my requests. Okay. Now are we done? Very well. Now we're done. My friend knows a lot about that revenge website, like a little too much, you know? Makes me wonder if he's been using the site to take revenge. He kept bringing it up, so I came out and said, isn't that just a stupid rumor? Come to think of it, Elizabeth said that she wanted to try some tasty ajiru. I might be able to find Thanks some here. Hey kid, what can I get for you today? Um, some Ojiro? <sighs> Sorry, I don't have any for sale right now. I used to, but it didn't sell well and was apparently only used for dares. That said, I did recently come up with a new Ojiro creation that I consider my magnum opus. Eh, we'll take it. And maybe I'd be willing to exchange it for the vintage Yagen from the antique shop next door? I'm joking, that thing's way out of a student's budget. Vintage Yagen. 
Sorry, but you'll have to give up on the Ojiro. But don't worry, I've got plenty of other fine goods. We've got stun already. Okay. Revives one fallen ally with full HP. You made up your mind. That's all you hey. Yeah, we'll buy four of those. You got everything you need? Come again, yeah? Okay, now what is this gonna cost us? Welcome. Let's see if we have the resources for it. The vintage Yagen? That's quite the rarity you've set your eyes of on. Course. Well, that's fine. Bring me the gems and it's yours. Mind you, that's one of my more valuable wares, so it'll cost you more than you might be used to. <laughs> Just let me know whenever you're ready to swap yes. for it. So you found a new base model. Oh, this will make for a fine piece of equipment. I got my hands on some pretty interesting wear. Oh no. Feel no free to look around. Two topaz. We don't have any. Can we trade for topaz? Is that a thing? All right, we're going to have to wait on that then. Okay. Go on, look around. I'm sure this will prove to be useful. Man, that's rude. Creating equipment. Yeah, this generic material. What does so, this make? What will it be? Counter Strike. Interesting. Heavy armor for Igus. There's still so Medium much chance to repel physical personas. attacks. You'll just have to keep testing different things. Fusion gun that has no quirks and is easy to use. Are you sure? Here, it's all yours. And what does the Ergotite shard do? Wielding a persona is powerful, but it's not without risk. Please don't overexert yourself and get injured. Noel's fire? It's only for Yukari. Even after turning my hobby into a career, I still find myself buried. Go on, look around. You like that one? Did that catch your eye? All right, I'll trade you for this. I'm sure this will prove to be useful. Everything good. Hope to see you soon. Okay, invigorate two. I'll make a couple of those. Okay, we do need something here, but that will take time. summer vacation this place is so quiet since there aren't any students rushing onto the train. I like the quiet. When you when you hear cicada sound effects on a show or a movie, doesn't it remind you of summer? Did you know they usually cut the cicada sounds out when exporting movies or TV to other countries? In places with no cicada, when they hear that sound, they think it's just static or white noise. 
You sure see a lot of couples during summer vacation, huh? Maybe I should get a girlfriend. It's a lot of trouble, though. Like just now, I saw a couple having an argument, and the girl was like, I'm gonna report you to that revenge website. What was she even talking about? There's a bar by the gang spot with the best cocktails around, but now they're looking into making non-alcoholic cocktails. Okay, that's probably what we need for one of the requests. It used to be a bar where adults could drink in peace, now it'll be swarming with kids. The beach? She's asking me to go to the beach? How did this happen? Am I really allowed to go? Aren't, aren't you guys, like, dating? <laughs> He's a sweet guy, but he seems to be holding back. It's like he won't allow himself to enjoy life. Even after his friend and I offered to take him to the beach. He just keeps turning us down over and over. He'll never have fun that way. But don't get me wrong, I won't leave him. Good for you, I guess. I mean, if you like him, you like him. It's an outdoor terrace cafe in front of the station. Okay. Damn it, that stings pretty bad. Just my freaking luck, huh? Hell do you want? Can't you see I'm not really in the mood for talking right now? Wait, what do you got there? Bandages? Oh, perfect timing. Can I have them? Give them to him? Thanks, man. Huh. Well, that should work for now. Feeling like I owe a punk like you doesn't sit right with me. You're a student, right? Guessing GekaCon if you're from around here. Here, I'm not thanking you or nothing, but you can take this. I picked it up over at the station, not like it's worth anything to me anyways. Okay, student handbook. Those assholes are just using us to gather info. They think we're some handy dandy tool that'll give them the scoop anytime they ask. There's something wrong with those guys. I hear voices. Whoa, not bad. I bet this will be popular. Should I go down the stairs and enter? Yes. Sorry, we're not open yet. Hey, aren't you still in high school? You're not supposed to be here. Bartender keeps staring at me. I wonder if it's because of my charm. Huh, you look like you've been around the block a time or two. Well, I guess it won't hurt. Can you try this new cocktail I whipped up? Don't worry, there's no alcohol in it. It's my own little concoction for customers who can't drink alcohol. I'm hoping to expand our clientele, you see. Cheers. I guess I'll try the non-alcoholic cocktail. It's the perfect balance between sweet and sour. It has a refreshing flavor. So what do you think? Good, huh? Not bad? Right? I knew you'd like it. Tell you what, I'll give you a bottle of it. On the house. I'm gonna go catch some Z's. Come back when you're legal and I'll let you try the good stuff. I obtained a Queen Elizabeth. There it is. All right, we're gonna turn this in at, um, in the next episode. So yeah, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlado101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot27, Pedo Kuto, Shadow Raven, Hannah Kate the Great, The Blue Electric Cat, Emily Kuzanoa, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.